What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of First Look. Today we're taking a first look at Time Stalkers for the Sega Dreamcast. Time Stalkers is an RPG with apparently a time travel plot. As it says on the back of the box here, unravel the tangle of time, enter a new dimension where time portals collide and create sheer chaos. You are Sword, a great hero who can solve its mystery and return its people to their right place in time. So it has these features, including a giant universe featured in full 3D graphics, six main characters to choose from, over 30 characters, and 73 monsters to interact with, great VMU minigames, and travel through a multitude of time periods. So it's pretty much your standard fare for an RPG, uh, but it does have a couple of unique features from what I can tell, including randomly generated dungeons, which is always nice for replay value, and also you have the ability to recruit monsters to fight for you so I guess instead of killing them you can capture them and use them to fight for you which is quite cool so here's the front of the case here as you've already seen and the back of the case here and down here it says your standard features including one player BMU compatible standard controller compatible VGA box which is always nice and jump pack compatible. So without further ado, let's take a look at the game, shall we? Okay, so here we are at the main menu. <laughs> Quite a really psychedelic look to it. Uh, let's press start. And we have a few options. New game, load game, options, see what the options are. Message, speed, fast, normal, slow, sound mode, stereo, mono, Let's go with stereo, because that's always good. Uh, jump pack on or off. And character profiles, not sure what that is. Okay, just gives me a list of characters. I don't have any right now. Alright, let's go exit out. And press the start button. New game. So apparently you cannot skip the opening cutscene, so I'm just going to let you watch it. If it goes on too long, I'll use the magic of video editing to skip it. Okay, so we're finally done with that cutscene. That took quite a while, so I had to cut that out, or some of it anyway. But I have nothing really too interesting. Something about this main character, I guess his name is Sword, and his family got killed, and then he fought a monster, and then he ran after him, and then he got absorbed into some bright light, and then he woke up here. And that's where we are, so what the heck. Anyway. <laughs> That's exactly my sentiments. Alright. What happened? I have no clue. Wait a minute. What happened to that book? Yeah, he was reading a book, too. And I, yeah, apparently it's gone. Uh -huh. I got a bad feeling about this. Man, it's all because I listened to that girl. Yep, yep, definitely should not listen to the girl. Mm-hmm. Oh well, not thinking about it too much, okay, yeah. Okay, so I finally have control of the character here. Let's see what I can do here. A button does nothing, B button does nothing, X button does that, and then I guess you can zoom into a first person perspective and look around. That's always nice. Y button, uh, okay, opens your inventory. 
I have a long sword with a smiley face next to it. Yay! And skills, spells. I have fire level one. That's always cool. Status, bunch of status, HP, MP, vitality, I guess. Hunger meter, experience bonus, item number, gold. All that good stuff. Lists, monster list, item list, monster list, nothing in it. Item list, nothing in it. And allies, capsule is empty. Okay, whatever that means. So apparently you can acquire monsters in this game that fight with you, which is kind of cool. Not sure how that works since it's my first time playing, but we'll see, I suppose. Although we may not get that far in this video since I don't want to go on too long. RPGs do tend to be slow going, so... Huh, that's funny. I know, I just came... Okay. From over there, didn't I? Yes, you did. What the heck is going on? This is odd. Who's messing with me? I do not know. Huh, what are these vibes I'm getting? Could it be hostility? It doesn't matter what happens, happens. Okay. Clock tower, press the A button. Entering dungeon, are you prepared? Sure, why not? I got my smiley face sword, so I'm all set. Okay, so here we are in the dungeon, apparently. And how do I get out of this room? Oh, go this way. Alright. Ooh, a sword. Sure, a sword for the beginning hero. That's me. Can I equip that sword? Sure. Equip. Alright, so apparently it's showing me my attack power goes up from 13 to 17, going from my other sword. So that's good. Alright, let's see if I can find a monster to kill here. Test out my new sword. Signboard. Use the A button to pick up items or initiate a battle. Okay, I guess those are just tips, I suppose. Alright, let's find a monster. Here, monster, monster, monster. Damn it. Uh, is this where I just came from? I think it is. Uh, go back up here. Straight up, all the way. Go to the right, go down. Another signboard, and I'm gonna bother reading that. And the signs everywhere, aren't there? An abundance of signs, but yet no monsters. Great. Now let me read it. Step on the pattern on the ground to advance to the next floor. You will not be able to return to this floor. Use the D-pad to change the map and view perspectives. Alright, what pattern? These patterns? stepping on it. It's not doing anything. Okay. Am I supposed to press a button? Didn't say I was supposed to press a button. Uh, the LNR triggers look around. Okay. Well. Um, so apparently in this game the dungeons are randomly generated from what I've read about the game, which is kind of cool. I think I'm just going around in circles here. Or is this the room I came out of before? Yes, I think it is. Let me read this sign again. Step on the pattern on the ground to advance to the next floor. You will not be able to return to this floor. Okay. What pattern? This, this pattern? I'm stepping on tons of patterns, and they're not doing anything. That sign lies. Uh-huh, to change the D 
D-pad. Or the D-pad changes the application. Uh, maybe that other room was a different room. Let me go back. Oh yeah, that is different. Okay, this must be the pattern that Sai was referring to. Yeah, okay. There's apparently nothing here, so... Confirm bonus point distribution. Oh. Okay. Um... I didn't get any points, so apparently I'll just continue. Alright. Next floor, fast save skills allies. Let's go to the next floor. Sure. Okay. I'll change back to the top view here. Oh, a goblin. Let's attack the goblin. Uh huh. Attack. With. Well, I don't want to do a weak slash. Let's do a cut. Goblin. Bam! Well, that was easy. Nice. Party. Experience earned. Nice. 50 points of experience. Cool. What are these things? Rune fruits. Sure, I'll take them. Uh huh. More signs. A heal fruit. Ooh, that's always good. I can't carry any more items. I'm sure up a small inventory. Alrighty. Signboard. Signboard. Lots of signboards. Oh, and I just want to kill something. I don't know. Go to the next floor, I guess. What was that? Hmm. Something was on the floor there and it disappeared. Okay. Yeah, this game probably wasn't the best idea for a first look video. There's just a lot of walking around in the beginning of the game, apparently. Of course, that's true of a lot of RPGs. Try a spell. Let's see if I can do fire level one. Take this. Sweet. Oh, that was nice. That did more damage than my sword. Level up. Woohoo! All right. So that leveled up. So that's cool. Wait, did I come? Yeah, I came from that way. Let's go this way. Uh, or no. Wait. No, I didn't come from that way. Going that way. A little hungry. What does that mean? My character is hungry. Okay. Well, let's find something to eat then. Let's let's have a rune fruit. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of confusing. Use on sword. Well, I don't want to use it on my sword. I'll use it on the character sword. Oh, and another goblin. That's kind of interesting. They don't actually attack you. I have to actually initiate the attack, the attack myself. It's kind of unusual. Man, these enemies are easy. <laughs> usually it's the opposite way around. Enemies will usually give you quite the beating at the beginning of an RPG until you level up, but in this one they're easy as anything. Receive full restoration. Sure, why not? Alright. I am fully restored now, apparently. Let's see if I can figure out where I'm going here. Um, that was a dead end. The full restoration booth. 
whatever you call it. So I don't want to drag on this video too much longer here. I'm sure it's getting quite boring for those of you that are watching. So, yeah, this has been Time Stalkers on the Dreamcast. It's an RPG. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just pretty much standard fare as far as I can tell so far. Although, it's interesting how the enemies don't actually attack you. You have to initiate the attack yourself. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, look at that. I found somebody. I've been looking for you for quite a while. This is the monster that attacked me in the initial cutscene. Oh, alright. I guess I'll attack this guy before I end the video. Let's do a cut. Although I probably should have done my uh, fire attack, because that does a lot of damage. Uh, let's do a spell. Fire level 1. Use. Alright, so this guy attacks me before I attack him. Although I probably should use the fire as much as I can. I still have quite a bit of MP left. Spell, fire level 1, use. Take this. And I'll use it again, sure, why not. Ooh, I'm running low on health here. I think I better use one of my healing fruits. Oh, wait! I killed him! Yay! Level up! Sweet! <laughs> and that's the end of him. Very nice. Alright, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. This has been Time Stalkers on the Dreamcast. Like I said, pretty much standard fare for an RPG. But if you like RPGs, check it out. Um, I might do a future video on this once I'm farther into the game. Maybe go a little more into a little more detail on it. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe.